Hi, I'm Rich Kirkham, and I'm a JustServe.org specialist, and I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to register for JustServe.org and how to post a project. So uh, first of all, to sign in or to register, you click in the upper right-hand corner where it says Sign In Register. Now, I have never signed in before, so I'm going to come here where it says Register Now. Click the Register button, and I put my name in, Gary Smith, my email, Gary Richard Smith, and my zip code. And this is important because uh, your zip code will let JustServe.org know where you are and anything that you would have there for uh, projects in that zip code, it can notify you of that. Enter a password and then I click here um, indicating that I am 13 years of age and that I agree to the privacy um, terms and the right of use and I create the account. Now once you've created the account you're not quite ready to uh, post because up here it says check your email. An activation email was sent uh, to me and you'll need to verify this in order uh, to continue using the site or to post projects. And of course they give you this handy reminder that there are more ways than one to uh, see projects. You can view them either by uh, a project list, a map list, or a calendar list. And we'll look more at that later, so got it, thanks. And now I'm going to go to my inbox. And here's the Just Serve activation. So I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to um, click on that. Now I am activated in my account. Okay, and I've already seen this notice, so I'm just going to put that away. Now, how do I know if I have logged on? I come up here, and you can see that it has automatically signed me in. So I'm going to sign out for just a second. We're going to come back. Now that I've registered, in the future when I want to sign in, I just come back up here to the right-hand corner, click Sign In Register, put in my email, and um, a password, and then I can click continue. Now, before I click continue, I just want to point out a couple of things on this page. You can sign in with Facebook, but if for whatever reason you're going to be an administrator or take on an administrative role in the future with Just Serve, say you're going to be a, a project administrator, you cannot use Facebook credentials for whatever reasons. So be sure that you sign in with the traditional or the longer way of signing in and um, and come in this way. If at some point you do uh, sign in and you can remember your email but you can't remember what your user your password is, you can come down here where it says I forgot my either my username or password and this will send you an email and allow you to um, update that. So this is how you would do that. Now I'm going to press continue and that will get me logged into the site. So um, my main goal here is to uh, list a project. And first I'm going to just click in the left-hand corner here uh, to see what the projects are. And of course I can search by zip code, 83201 in this case. And it brings up a list of all the projects that are out there now. And of course the project that I want to submit is not there. And so I am going to go on and post it. Um, now, again, I can look at this by map if I want to see all the projects and where they are in my area. Or I can also look by calendar and see when projects are coming up on the calendar. And this is very handy if I want to share this with, um, with uh, a group or a look at it in a calendar view. Okay. So that's what we have coming up in the next couple of days. And of course, you can search by keyword, a date range, the miles, radius, so forth. 
my group projects suitable. So if you're looking for something for your scout group or your service organization, or even a family reunion or something like that, you can post it here. So uh, let's go on and, and post a project. And, then I, and at the bottom, there's always a green box. And this green box says, Submit a Project. So we're going to go ahead and hit Submit a Project. And we read the guidelines here. Of course, anyone can submit. All they have to do is, um, is register. Um, any, any person can be involved in submitting projects. The guidelines are that they encourage side-by-side -side working, collaborative opportunity projects, humanitarian services that assist the poor and the needy, and community service projects that enhance the quality of life. And Just Serve projects should not directly involve uh, volunteers in fundraising. This is very important. Um, if you post a fundraising project, it will get rejected. Also, those that have a political focus um, or for some political ideology uh, will be rejected, and for-profit oriented projects also are rejected. So uh, once you've read these guidelines and you agree to them, you can uh, check the box and continue on to the next screen. So I'm going to enter my name here, Gary, my last name, Smith, my email again, and my phone, and my city. State and my zip, and the name of the organization for which we're going to be doing this service project. Well, in this particular case, this is going to be a project for the Pocatello Rotary Club. Okay, I filled out everything. You can see up here the progress. There are five steps to go through. You can actually skip around on these. We're just going to go in order and uh, and hit the, the next. You can go back and forth between previous and next by clicking these boxes or you can come up here and you can move around from box to box. If there's information that's missing you'll get a red X up here indicating you need to go back to that page and fill in information. So for example if I go to the action here and and want to preview my thing it will tell me already there are things that are missing and it can't really uh, proceed. So we're going to go back and um, and we'll go here and it shows me, it highlights for me the things that are missing. These are the required uh, characters. So in this particular case, I'm going to post the project title is going to be um, Feed the Hungry. And we're going to call this um, Help the Food Bank Take care of the poor and needy in our community. And uh, the description of this, of course, will be um, join with the Pocatello Rotary Club every Thursday. Oh no, every, yeah, well, we'll just say every Thursday, that's good. Every Thursday um, for two hours to repackage frozen foods to be distributed to the needy. And see, it does indicate when you've spelled something wrong. There we go. I just got a couple letters backwards. And uh, you, need, you can, this is uh, information that you can put in if you want. Skill, uh, none. Um, and we'll just put down that this is a um, community project. You can select as many of these as you want if it's health and fitness and so forth and this just helps to put it in various categories. Next screen, uh, the required uh, fields are the organization name. Well, the sponsoring organization in this case is the Pocatello Rotary Club and the organization description is we are a local 
service group. Okay. Our website, because since we're sponsoring this, is www.pocatellorotary.org. And the contact person, I'm just going to make myself uh, the contact person again, Gary Smith. And my phone. And my email address again. Okay. Now, uh, the next the next question is the project sponsor, and it says the project sponsor can view a number the number of volunteers who've signed up. This is important to know because if you don't indicate who the sponsor of the project is, you'll later be able to go back and view the project, but you won't be able to see who's signed up for it. In this particular case, I want to have some control to be able to communicate with anybody who has signed up, um, and so I'm going to designate myself again as the sponsor of this project and it will look me up and see if I'm on there. Yes, there I am. And I also want to designate a project administrator. Well, I happen to know that my project administrator is Rich Kirkham. So I'm going to look him up and he pops up here too. Now if if you put in an email and nothing pops up here, it just didn't find it. They don't tell you that uh, there's no administrator matching the email. Um, that's a, a error so far in the program, but um, you do need to have a project administrator. Otherwise, it will go into a general category and eventually it'll get put up. But this will slow things down. So if you know who your stake administrator is, or if you don't use uh, richkirkham at gmail.com, and choose that as the admin and choose that as the sponsor. So now everything has turned blue and I am ready to go to the next screen. Now as you can see I've completed those first three pages. I'm on four now. This is where I choose the project type. This is a, a recurring project that we're going to do and we do this project. We're going to do this project every Tuesday starting uh, the, the 12th of May and we're going to get together at 5 p.m. and we're going to work till 7 p.m. We're going to do that not daily but weekly and we're going to do this probably clear through the uh, end of the year so I'll just put December 31st as the end of the year. Now we, we could allow uh, volunteers to sign up for flexible times within this range because if somebody can come at 6 that's okay and if they can only work an hour they can come at five and work for an hour or something like that. So I'm going to say that this is flexible. The location is 555 South 1st Avenue. Well, actually, that is the physical address. So I'll put that here. And the title is the Idaho Food Bank. And that's the address. Now, the address is very important. If you don't put a physical address, it will not show up on a map. And this is, of course, in Pocatello and uh, ZIP 83201. And now some more information about volunteers. You want to redirect volunteers to a website. If you do, uh, you can select this and uh, it will uh, send them to a website. And in this case, let's just say I want them to go to www.pocatellorotary.org and there they can learn more about that project. We need a total of 30 people to volunteer. And um, yes, groups, excuse me, yes, groups can volunteer. And we've worked with a number of other groups uh, from uh, banks and other service clubs. So that's OK if a group wants to come and help out. Is it suitable for all ages? Yes. But I'm going to put down here um, that uh, uh, where warm clothes. We work with frozen foods sometimes. Um, you will have fun because it really is a lot of fun to go down and volunteer at the food bank. Now everything on that page should be complete and I'm going to come down here and hit. Now this is important. It says submit a project but don't be fooled. That is not the button to push. Even though we have you know, completed everything here, 
you want to go to the action, which is the last. These two buttons are the same. It's a preview. And so um, that's giving me a, an overlook of what it is and so forth. And I'm, I'm looking at it, and there's one thing that I don't like about this ad, and that's that I didn't get a picture to put up there. So I'm going to say I want to continue editing, and I'm going to go back to page three. And see, I missed this one box. It's, it's optional, of course, but it says upload a photo. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and open up a new tab up here at the top, and I'm just going to do a Google search for Idaho Food Bank, Pocatello, and search the images. Okay, so uh, here's some nice images here. And in fact, I think what I'll do is just I just want a logo for this. So let's let's pick one of these logos, and I sort of like uh, like this one right here. So with that, I will just drag this over and put it on my desktop and uh, so that I know where it is, of course. Go back to my web page and uh, click back on this. Now I can upload this photo. And of course, it's right on my desktop. So I grab that and I upload it. Okay. And it says here, uh, by clicking this box, I certify that I agree to the terms and conditions regarding the use of logos and images. And I do, and so I'm going to upload that. And now I will have a uh, food bank logo on there. And that could be a, a picture of anything. If we had a picture of our group working there, we could put that in and so forth. So um, now I believe I've covered everything but number five. So again, I can either click number five here or I can come down here to where it says action and I can preview it. But again, I warn you not to click the submit a project. You will lose everything that you have entered if you click on submit a project. So don't be fooled with that. Go to preview instead. It builds a preview for you. Now we see the image that's there on the file and I'm going to submit this project. Okay? Now, it tells me, thank you for submitting your project. Uh, the JustServe.org committee will uh, consider this. And of course, that will then go to the designated project administrator, and they will approve that project. So that's part one uh, of the tutorial for today uh, to teach you how to post a project on JustServe.org. If you have questions, please give me a call at 251-2222, area code 208, or you can email me at richkirkham at gmail.com. Have fun posting. Thanks.